Hello, welcome to part two of Unlock to Instagram. I suppose a new name, new name, think of new ones. So part one, I'll link up here. If you wanna check that out, which you probably should, otherwise this might not make any sense. Effectively, the quick run through is I'll take a trick that I've seen someone do, like a coach, in this case, it's the jump rope coach, Chris. I just get his video up online, I'll go through it, and then I'll take you through my process of learning it. So this is not a tutorial, it's just a fun way for me to document how I'm learning the tricks. So with that said, I'm just gonna get the, um, the video up on my laptop and then we're we'll good to go. Across his toad, inverse toad, Kruger, inverse, Kruger, elephant, T toad. Here we go. Okay. Same as part one, I will post, I'll put a link to Chris's website down below. Check it out, great resource for jump rope. At the end of part one, I did say that I wasn't gonna do any more practice on it, which I haven't done. What I have done today is I did about half an hour's worth of practice of just practicing a normal toad with a two-footed landing. So that's all I've done. And obviously, going through the footage to upload part one, I actually looked at what I was doing right and wrong there. So I'm hoping this will be done today. But at the same, but at the same time, if it's not, it's not. When I'm in this position here, in order to when we're uncrossing, we've got to <laughs> fall over. When I'm uncrossing, I need to basically get this hand past this knee whilst this knee is still here. So I effectively need to get the rope to go round there, here. I think, that's, that's what I could, that's what I've kind of gathered anyway. position right but typically my go-to position for the toad is this one it's weird working on the t-toad is making my non-dominant non -dominant side toad better and that might not be the case that might not be that might not be what's actually technically happening but that's what it feels like to me so I'm going to try and do drills of going backwards and forwards backwards and forwards between left and right This, this trick 
is is really tough for, for me. It might not be for others, but this is super tough. this rope past my knee so I'm getting to the position where I'll land and the handle's here okay I feel like we're, I think I think we're, I feel like progress is being made although it is it's slow It more like more like this kind of way. See what Chris is doing. Nice. He's keeping his hands down like this. Oh nice. Alright, no worries. seems impossible to do. I'm not even joking. It seems like it's absolutely impossible. Toad or nearly a tea toad, turns out it was just a toad, and I just I wasn't paying attention to where my arms were. Because there's a lot, there's a lot to pay attention to in this move. There's a lot. I had no idea. Timing is so there's there's not much time to pause, so everything has to be a fluid, an absolutely fluid movement. No, that was the not the right toad. That's gonna be one of the most frustrating things about learning this, is that you just inevitably do loads of toads and then you don't realise. So it's difficult to get excited when you get, when you get something near it. You're like, oh, did I get it? I don't even know if that was. I don't even know if I got it. And Chris's all, all Chris's leg is also going up in and then out again. So I don't know whether that's just his his style or whether he's doing that to clear the rope. And it's a timing thing, I think it's a timing thing. Into the middle, clear the rope in the middle and out again. Like that's it, that's another thing. We figured something out. So he's going up, in, and the legs going back out and then down. Well, I can tell you there's one thing about kind of figuring, seeing why something is happening, and then there's another thing trying to replicate it.
honestly, I need to have a rest. I'm leaving this for the time being. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make some food and uh, I'll pick this up in a minute. Whew. But actually, another two minutes won't hurt, so I'll do another two minutes. In fact, I'll do another two minutes and I'll call it end of part two. <laughs> Okay, part two over, still no, still no tea toad, but to be fair, I do feel like we're getting somewhere. I think the, the arm placement, sorry, the arm placement is getting better. Why is that not level? I don't understand. There we go. The arm placement is, is getting there and we're able to, I'm able to stay in that tea toad position for a second rotation. Problem being, is that it's actually exiting. So I think I think it's just a case of more drilling. Hopefully these kind of things are helpful, they might not be, but it's quite a good way for me to just track so I've got something to look back on so I can say, right, that Tito took three days, <laughs> three or three sessions or three different times of, of doing it. And also the other thing for me personally is it sets a time limit, so each of these sessions is no longer than 30 minutes, which is what the record time on that camera is. You know, if this takes, 10 parts, it'll take 10 parts. If I probably won't, I might not do this tomorrow, put it that way. I might try and break it up and then revisit it. So if you wanna check out parts one or maybe part three that comes after it, just it'll be in a playlist for you. So you should be able to find it quite quickly. Anyway, with all that said, rambling on. Um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if that's what you're into, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.